Gold Squad TV. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Clickbait perk. Clickbait Kendrick Perkins. Mr. I switch my opinion every two seconds. This is the shut up. Nobody cares about your big ass opinion. Nobody thinks you're smart. Nobody thought you were a great player when you played. You were a nice piece when Doc Rivers had you in Boston. You weren't any good otherwise. You lasted in the league because you were just big. That's it. You have no reason to be talking about trading Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum or splitting them up when you were just sucking Jalen Brown's dick when he scored 50 points just the other night. Dude, you're a flip-flopper, and everybody knows you're a flip-flopper. This is not even just about the Celtics. It's just a general statement. Every day you have a different opinion, and it flip-flops the opinion you had the night before. Why should we take you seriously, big perk? And I ain't afraid of your big ass either, just for the record. You know, I'm not, not worried about running into you anywhere. <laughs> I really don't care. I'm going to call your slow ass out right now, man. Nobody care about what you have to say. Bottom line. Nobody cares, man. You should be worried about Zach Randolph. <laughs> Putting his hands on you. Don't, don't worry about the Celtics in trading JB or trading Jalen um, Jason Tatum. You don't have an opinion in this, man. You're clearly a dude that just watches a game and just gets upset and blames the two stars on the team which seems like a lot of the Boston Celtics fans. We clearly have not built a team around those guys, and yet we just continuously blame them, and they take accountability for it. Meanwhile, the coach gets off scot-free knowing that the coach is fucking stinks. Then you'll sit there and bring up the point, well, well, Brad Stevens didn't stink, and we didn't play well last year. You Also, we were hit COVID-stricken last year. All right? Had we not been COVID stricken last year in a weaker Eastern Conference, we probably would have won, been like a third or fourth seed. We lost a whole shitload of games because we never had a healthy team, just like we haven't had a healthy team this year. All right. Right now, this shit's bad to watch. Trust me, I was upset last night. But I'm not about to sit here and just let Kendrick Perkins talk about trading Jalen Brown. The truth of the matter is the coach got to go. And we need to bring Brad back in. And we need to fix the personnel on his team. Otherwise, I don't want to hear Kendrick Perkins. Kendrick Perkins couldn't tell me anything. What exactly has Kendrick Perkins done in the league? You don't trade talent. You don't trade the high-level talent. What great player do they have playing with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown? You want those guys to be facilitators. Those guys aren't the problem. If they are facilitators, the other guys ain't making buckets. Then you have to highly rely on them. Then you make Time Lord and Horford facilitators, and they stink, let's be honest, at doing that because they're not scoring threats. So that makes no fucking sense. If you're going to have a guy that can pass the ball, you also need him to be a scoring threat in order for him to be a problem. The problem with this team is specifically spacing and lack of de defensive adjustments. It's that simple. Spacing. Lack of defensive adjustments and a lack of a roster around the Jays. They haven't even had a legit season. They haven't had a legit season for them to be their teams. Every time they go, one of them either gets hurt or the other one gets COVID or both of them get COVID. And it's like, what do you want them cast to do? They're they're seventh and eighth in the league in scoring. They're doing everything they can to try to make this roster work. This roster stinks around them. The only guy that can make a shot. Two guys are going to make a shot consistently is Grant Williams and Peyton Pritchard. And Pritchard's on have health and safety protocol. You can't rely on Romeo Langford to give you buckets every game. You can't rely on old-ass Al Horford to give you a bucket every game. You can't rely on Marcus Smart. Hell, you really cannot rely on Marcus Smart to give you anything other than defense. Dennis Schroeder is a, a black hole on offense. I don't know what else to tell you guys, man. Per, you need to be drug tested. See. Kemba Walker's brother was right for calling you out last year. You should not be talking basketball when it comes to the Celtics. You shouldn't even be a part of the Celtics organization when it comes to covering the Celtics. You are just a talking head. And this is what we need to get away from in sports. 
you have too many talking heads, especially on ESPN, where every fucking segment is a is um a segment is a talking point. It's always a hot take. Nobody cares, man. Shut Perkins' ass up. Go Squad TV, leave a comment down below.